to even think about that. Christian Angelo was a student. Mason Schirmerhorn was a student. Richard Aspinwall taught math. Christina Irami also was a math teacher. Our team coverage continues now with Atlanta News First reporter Chelsea Bimefor, who's been speaking with friends and loved ones and learning more about those victims today. She joins us live also out here from Appalachia High School. Chelsea. Well, guys, reality is setting in for a lot of students out here today as they're bringing flowers and balloons to this memorial. They say they can't believe that they won't see two of their teachers again or two of their classmates. We had morning practice yesterday, so we were with them for about two hours. Isaiah Hooks is a defensive end on the Appalachie High School football team. His assistant coach, Richard Aspinwall, is among the four victims that died during a mass shooting at the school Wednesday morning. And then second period comes around at 10 o'clock, he's gone. And like, he's not gonna be here with us anymore. As a team, it's gonna hurt. It's hurting us now, and just over time, it just has been hurting. Students of slain math teacher Christina Ermi also hurting, including Isaac Sanguma, who says he had to retake algebra this year, but Miss Ermi made him feel smart and welcomed. She never made me feel ashamed about it. She never made me feel dumb. You could get a question wrong on the board, and she's not going to make you feel dumb. Two students were also killed, 14-year-old Christian Angelo, whose father held up a framed photo of his son today, too emotional to speak, and 14-year-old Mason Schimmerhorn. Fellow freshman Marquise Coleman says both boys were kind to him when he moved to the school district this year. Well, Mason, he, he was funny. He, he really stayed to himself most of the time. I, I sat, like, right in front of him, so, like, we had conversations here and there, you know. He used to share his snacks. Um, Christian, he was funny too. I always had the class, he had the class laughing here and there. Uh, yeah, they were just good, good kids. That should never happen to them. And I do want to mention that those students we spoke with on camera did have parental permission to share those stories with us. The community here also coming together. There are several fundraising efforts for each of these families of these victims. You can find more about that on AtlantaNewsFirst.com. Reporting live from Appalachia High School, Chelsea Bynfor, Atlanta News First.